Hey folks, let me show you how to use Q&A in Microsoft Teams. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you enable Q&A in your Microsoft Teams meeting options. And once that's enabled, uh, participants will see this Q&A tab at the top of their screen. And when they click on it, they'll have the opportunity to ask questions. Now I can go ahead and click on that and uh, I can write whatever I want. So let's say I want to ask uh, a question about, uh, I don't know, what are the upcoming sales projections, right? And I can go ahead and send that. They have, you know, regular formatting options, but I can hit post. So let me go ahead and switch to the presenter view. So from the presenter view, if I click on Q and A, I can see that Wilbur just asked a question. And if I go ahead and click on comment, I can respond to it. So now you can imagine a large conversation, maybe like a town hall, for example, and just tons of folks are asking all sorts of questions. This is a way to moderate that. This is a way to keep it kind of to one section rather than having to search all the way through the chat, which sometimes can be moving pretty fast. Um, this allows you to collect all of those questions and answers in one section in that Q&A section. Now, from a moderation piece, let's say I don't want this question to be in my meeting, maybe it's off topic, or maybe it just is a question that shouldn't be asked right now, I can go ahead and hit the more options button, that breadcrumb and hit delete if I wanted to. I can also hit close conversation to stop folks from responding, answering the question. I can also hit pin conversation if it's an important question. Maybe it's a question that a thousand folks are asking. You just want to make sure folks know that there is an answer. You can pin that conversation to the top of the Q&A. But that's the Q&A. Hope you like it.